Hey, good morning. Well, we are getting a fresh start to your Monday morning. Think about eating something green for breakfast. We're going to tell you where they're doing it in North Park coming up on Fox 5. Let's check in with Heather Ford, shall we? <laughs> Oh man, she's live in uh, North Park at a new place that's uh, focused on using food as natural medicine. Heather, I'm so into this world right now. I'm starting all of this myself. I can't wait to hear about what you're going to tell us right now. I know, you know, it's really surprising to a lot of people, I think, that eating the right food will keep you healthy, but uh, if you think about it, it really works. And so there's a new place called Casa de Luz, and that's where we're at this morning, where people are getting their breakfast and getting greens in their breakfast. I think this is tough for a lot of Americans to tackle because they think that they should have a pastry or a donut or stop by the coffee shop and get something simple. But if you really eat a salad for breakfast, it could go a long way. So I've got Waya with me. Uh, you're kind of the brains behind this operation. It's your place. Could you explain uh, Casa de Luz to us? Casa de Luz comes, the first one was Austin, and the brains would actually be my father. My father did Casa de Luz 25 years ago, and so this is a new baby in town. And we've been open for five months. What we do is a whole food, plant-based diet, non-processed, 100% organic. Everything in, under this roof is organic, from our what we're going to eat right now to the drinks, uh, the beer, the wine, sake, 100% organic non-processed and all that is we know now is healing all right so we've got an open kitchen an open cafeteria style seating you guys serve three meals a day so people can walk in grab their full breakfast their full lunch or for full dinner maybe sit down at a table and meet some new friends while they're in the process but let's talk about what's on the menu for breakfast maybe some things that a lot of us at home have never heard of um, and, and looks a little unrecognizable <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the menu for breakfast is uh, we always have a grain we always have a bean. We always have a vegetable. Now, the way we prepare them is a little bit different just yeah, because it is breakfast. Say, let's look at that little patty over there because when I looked at that, I said, you know, maybe someone might think that looks like a cookie so they would like it. <laughs> so that's brown rice. It's brown rice, but what we do is we make it into a patty. Okay. And we'll put a little bit to sweeten it up. It is breakfast. We'll put some raisins in there, and it'll be a little bit sweeter. And then the rest is, uh, so we have a porridge. The porridge, we don't put oats on the, on the porridge. Oats is a processed grain. The whole grain is a groat, and we'll use groats, or we use amaranth, and we'll do a porridge. So we'll have, and then we make our own granola here at Casa. So a lot of people will get a little bit of the porridge, put a little bit of the granola, knock out. I think this is nice because it takes out a lot of the guesswork. Um, all of the meals are already prepared, so you can come in, get a small choice, a sampling of things that you're interested in, and um, sit down with some friends and enjoy all of it. Now, are you guys um, local, or are you kind of getting your veggies and, and fruits from all over the place? We do uh, everything. We do local. Some things it's very difficult to get local, yes. <laughs> and it's also very difficult to, to have all the farmers be treating them one-on-one. -on -one. So what we do is we have one person, Napoli Farms, that we uh, we interact with him directly. Okay. And he interacts with all the little farms. Very cool. All right. So if you're looking at the menu over here, obviously we're talking about vegan foods. Yes. Uh, the kale. Food, there's food, plant-based Yeah, so plant-based. Um, is there a lot of the protein that you're getting there? Explain to people how these things can be healing. So the protein. That's a big misnomer. And... Uh, in a way, conspiracy by that you need more protein, you need more protein. It is, it is known now that too much protein can cause problems. It can cause sickness. Now, protein, it's much more, the body assimilates it much more efficiently by, let's say, beans or the kale or uh, not by an animal source. Mm -hmm. So we know that about protein. And there's a lot of other mis misnomers on what we think is healthy. So an interesting fact, you said that it's, it's hard sometimes to get people to eat their greens for breakfast. Is it working here, though? Well, there, there's two processed things uh, here at Casa. Everything else, you'll see the plate, and you'll know exactly what it is. So here, the only two processed things that we do are the granola, that's in the morning, and we do a tortilla. Okay. Now, the tortilla is just a vehicle to get a whole bunch of vegetables in, All and right. that we do in the morning. Sounds good. All right, so uh, I want to know, Raul, out of everyone, would you eat kale for breakfast? Did I eat what? If it was no, maybe cooked would right? Would you eat kale for Do you know what kale is, <laughs> first Didn't of all? we have a kale? I guess we'll start. We had kale smoothies on before for breakfast, mm -hmm. and I had it. That was oh, fine. I love kale. See? That's well, I feel like Raul, Raul will eat like a steak if someone brings it into the studio right. around, what, 9 a.m.? So kale, Nine, like... Five. <laughs> five. I'll eat it. I'll eat anything, quite frankly. It doesn't matter. And kale, yes. Kale's <laughs> fine with me, too. I'll eat kale. Yeah, why not? 
Why? Is it going to be a surprise? Are we are we getting anything here? Did you plant it? No, it's good. No? It's, it's, it's a plant. It's energy. It's it's yummy. You just got to cook it right, I think. See, I thought we were. I thought you had planned some sort of interactive where we would get some sort of Rome. food action, <laughs> juice, smoothie. Guess not. Well, I'll bring you some tomorrow. Thank you, Heather. Hey guys, good morning. Well, we're talking about using food as medicine, and we're going to tell you about a new place and new cooking program coming up on Fox 5. 832 now, so we've all heard of eating our daily fruits and vegetables, right? Right, but Heather Ford is checking out a new place that's teaching people how to eat their daily food as medicine. So what are you going to show us now, Miss Heather? All right, well, I'm going to show you the new cooking program that's here. So we were in the cafeteria and the place downstairs where you literally can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The meals are prepared for you. Lots of cool stuff. But they're also partnering with folks from UCSD here at Casa de Luz. De, <laughs> I'm going to get this right. Casa de Luz to uh, make healthy meals and teach people how to eat vegetable and plant-based diets, which is supposed to be very healthy and help you even if you're sick. So I've got some folks to help me out here. We've got Gordon and Larray, both from the UCSD Center for Integration medicine and we are making some fun little rice balls I'm gonna get to the recipe in just a second but you're gonna um, Gordon first tell us about the healing properties of these foods so is it to the point where we say we're feeling sick we need something else in our diet um, but a lot of people would go out into the pharmacy and maybe just get medicine instead mm -hmm. yeah well we actually tell our patients at UCSD Center for Integrative Medicine that we think they should follow a whole food plant-based diet centered around whole grains vegetables beans and legumes fruits seeds nuts provides optimal nutrition no toxic excesses but meets all of the nutritional needs gives them uh, really Really good health helps to prevent diseases like diabetes, heart disease, even some cancers. All right, so what is this recipe doing for us today? If we get over here, come on over. Um, and we've got the seaweed with us, which I love the little seaweed snacks. I have been eating those like it's crazy. And then the rice balls. What are these certain um, pieces of dietary foods? What are they doing for our body specifically? Well, brown rice that's going into the rice balls is a whole grain, so it's one of the staple foods rich in B vitamins and minerals and also uh, high in insoluble fiber, very good to regulate the GI tract. The seaweed, that's uh, nori, it's the wrapper around sushi, and that stuff is amazingly rich in trace minerals from ocean water, gets drawn into the plant, and it also contains a compound called alginate that binds heavy metals, even toxic ones like uh, radioactive cesium and radioactive strontium draws them out of the body for people who've been exposed. They use this in Japan after World War II, after the atomic wow. bombs were dropped. So all of our environmental things that we're running into, whether it's fumes or whatever, this is all going to help out with this it. It's amazing, and amazingly good for that. It's a that. tasty little treat because you're putting some uh, little plums inside of there, which is good. That's all right, so Lorraine, before we go, I want people to know about the program. If they want to come to the cooking classes and learn about these foods and how to make these <laughs> gooey, fun little rice balls. They are fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how can they find out about it and when are these classes? Well, um, the UCSD Center for Integrative Medicine's website site is cim.ucsd.edu. That's where all the information is. And um, we do hold this as either an eight-week or a four-week program, and it really helps people with behavior change. We have a lot of behavior, behavior change experts at UCSD. We're really lucky to have that. So we're using their collective knowledge and our Center for Integrative Medicine team to and talk about natural healing. Yeah, do you mean just in the fact of people actually get addicted to bad, greasy, unhealthy foods, and it's a really hard to get off that track? Absolutely. So we need to reinforce a good habit, and that's why being there together as a community for four weeks week after week getting all the tools that they need how to rejuvenate your body really from the inside out in a natural way that's yeah. what this is all and about when does the next one start starts in October but we're going to be at the holistic expo doing a lot of these classes this weekend yeah, so that's at the end of the week starting on Friday the holistic expo is going on in the uh, convention center so we're gonna just keep making these little guys completely raw right so you're not gonna be cooking these guys the just rice balls themselves are cooked so we're just oh. going to roll them into a ball put this Japanese pickled plum deeply healing into the center sweet salty so so delicious. It's like a little surprise on the inside. I think it's more fun to make them, Sholly and Raul, <laughs> than eat them. Well, you'll Could see. you imagine? Just yeah. You know if you have kids, too, that this is, a, this is a party at home, right? That's right. And then we wrap this little seaweed around the outside, and it makes it look really kind of pretty. And so you can use these even as an appetizer at parties. I need some help. I'm going to need an ice cream scooper. Mm. Oh, you know what? You need wet hands. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. That's the most important oh, yeah. first step. <laughs> Maybe. <all> sticky otherwise. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Doc. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, thank you, Heather. Coming up, we're talking about Foods That Heal, a new cooking program is going on in North Park, and we're going to tell you all about it coming up on Fox 5. 
A new place in North Park is teaching people exactly what their bodies need to live a clean and healthy lifestyle. Heather Ford's checking it out this morning. Hey, Heather. So we're inside a brand new cooking school and you can sign up for classes as soon as as early as now and they start as soon as October. It's called Casa de Luz and it's also a cafeteria and we'll get to that part but the new cooking classes are what's really cool. So I'm here with Loray and uh, we're going to talk a little bit. You are with the UCSD Center for Integrative Medicine That's and it. the whole point behind uh, the cooking program is that it's actually talking about using food for healing. So um, what are we making right now and tell us a little bit about healing properties of food. Well, we're making a cucumber sonomono salad, which is a traditional Japanese dish, but we have a new twist on it. We're actually adding um, cucumber, which is a cooling and wonderful summer seasonal ingredient. We also have daikon radish, which is a oh, fat like, burner. Hold on, can we see that? Because I thought it was a carrot and then they started wiggling it wow. around. It should be a little firmer. It's been sitting out a little bit. So. You gave I it a whole job. <laughs> but um, the daikon is a wonderful spicy radish that is actually a fat burner. Oh. And it's also a diuretic. So it's it's going to actually take all of that excess water um, and really help us with with basically weight and um, and having healthy skin. Okay, so this um, recipe is all about working from the inside out and it's healing our skin. So in here we're going to be talking about for the cooking program healing cancers, healing uh, ailments, heart disease, the things that you know our society is seeing in the masses. This one though is for the skin which I'm sure ladies out there you know we're always looking for the thing at the drugstore, the quick fixes, That's but right. it's all about healing from the inside out. So there's a, a, an uh, Eastern medicine, they use a lot of this and we just don't do it over here. It's exactly right. So that's one of the things at the UCSD Center for Integrative Medicine. We bring Eastern ancient wisdom and Western modern science together in all of our things that we do. And nutrition, what we eat really is the common denominator of the way that we can take an active participation in our care. Okay, so, so in the end, is this going to be just a nice little salad? And what are we making as the dressing over here? We have for the dressing um, some brown rice syrup. We have some brown rice vinegar. Okay. Um, we have some sl uh, chopped ginger. Ginger is also one of those wonderful things that's good for digestion, nausea. It's almost a cure-all. Uh, ginger is just a wonderful, wonderful ingredient. Another thing that's going to be great for our circulation and skin. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pour this dressing over our cucumbers and our daikon. And the final ingredient is wakame seaweed. This is also a very um, ancient healing uh, ingredient. I think everyone at home is going great. My skin's going to look fantastic, but what does it taste like? Well, I'm going <laughs> to give you a little taste here, and we're just going to put a couple drops of toasted sesame oil at the very, very top, okay. and a little bit of the scamaccio, which is the toasted sesame seeds. Okay. And I'm going to stir it up, and then I would love for you to taste it and uh, tell us what you think. All right, let's do it. True taste test. <laughs> you guys dive in, too. We'll do a little... little uh, too. All right, ready? All right. Here we go. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. You like it? Refreshing. I like that. Mm. It's good for a soft, hum a soft summer day. <laughs> a hot summer day. That's right. And uh, before we go, I just got to take one look over here because I want you guys to see the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you with the full mouth. Dr. Gordon Sachs from UCSD um, Community. Community mm -hmm. really helps with the whole diet and uh, mm -hmm. staying healthy, is that right? Yeah, we think that it's really important not just to focus on the, di the diet, as important as that is, but also the body, the mind, and the whole social community that we're part of. Because that's a deeply important healing factor. So we've partnered with Casa de Luz, and as you can see, there's a whole community of folks here, and we've built our cooking program in conjunction with their cooking school. School. So the natural healing and cooking program at UCSD is Sounds working good. with this to help I build like our community. It. So come check it out. Get breakfast, lunch, or dinner here at Casa de Luz. We've also got the information up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. They're taking out the guesswork for us, folks. For now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.